Welcome to the Math 1 lesson summary video for the task Scott's Workout. So the purpose of this task is to reinforce that arithmetic sequences have a constant difference and allow practice with a real world scenario of an arithmetic sequence or represented by an arithmetic sequence. So notice this is a solidify understanding task. So at this point we should be feeling more and more comfortable with um, representing arithmetic sequences using uh, recursive and explicit formulas. Um, and then we're going to push that understanding to the next level. So we have a scenario where Scott is doing a daily push-up routine and he's keeping track of the number of push-ups that he completes each day. Um, so we can see on day one he did three push-ups. So I'm going to let n represent um, the number of days that he's been doing this push-up routine and f of n represent the number of push-ups on day n. So on day one we have three push-ups and then we get two more on top of that. So on day two we have five push-ups and then two more on top of that. So on day three we have seven push-ups and two more on top of that. So on day four we have nine push-ups. So again this is an arithmetic sequence because it is growing by a constant difference, meaning every time as I go from one number to the next in the sequence, I'm adding a constant amount, which in this case is two. So it's adding two every time. So the questions that this task asks us to answer is, how many push-ups is Scott going to do on day 10? And then how about on day N? So in order to do that, we need to write uh, some function rules and ask specifically for recursive and explicit representations of this scenario. So let's start with the recursive because that's often easiest to come up with. Um, so if we use the MVP notation, uh, so f of n, the next number in the sequence, equals the previous number, we're saying it adds 2 every time, so plus 2, and then we were starting at f of 1 this time, that's important, not f of 0, but f of 1. So unlike task 1.3 and 1.2 where we were starting at the beginning or at 0, here we're starting off on day 1. So you could even imagine, okay, if there was a day 0, which there's not, and I backtrack the pattern, he would have done one push-up on day 0. So maybe that's something interesting to consider. But we're starting with f of 1 being 3, 3 push-ups on the first day. And so that's going to be important when we write our explicit formula. So to do the explicit formula, we can see that we started with three push-ups on the first day. We might be right, tempted to write three plus two times n because it's growing by two. But if we test that out, we can see if I plug in n equals four to that formula, 3 plus 2 times 4 would be 3 plus 8. That would be saying he did 11 push-ups on the fourth day, which we know is not accurate. We know he did 9 push-ups on the fourth day. So that's kind of odd. Uh, it's not working the way we'd expect. And the reason is because of this right here, this idea that we're starting on the first day and not the zeroth day. So we have to do this adjustment because of that, and that adjustment is to make this n minus 1 instead of n. Um, and that is going to account for the fact that we started at the first day and not at the zeroth day. So you can kind of expand this out if you want to in order to see another representation. And so to do that, we could use the distributive property And we're going to get another representation of this. Um, so here's a little work in between. So we'd have 3 plus 2n minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we'd have 1 plus 2n. And so those are equivalent representations in the explicit form. And so 1 is because it's starting at the 0th day. So you can see we did 1 push up at the 0th day and then we're adding 2 every time. But since our diagram started at the first day, we have to do this adjustment, this n minus 1 
adjustment. And let's talk about it. And the best way to understand why this n minus one is necessary, in my opinion, is to just look back at the table uh, that we originally created. So you can see in the second in the second row right here, how many times have we added two to our original number of three? We had only added it once. Sorry, I highlighted the wrong one. We'd only added it once. Then when we got to the third row, and so one is less one less than two. We got to the third row, we had added two twice. We got to the fourth row, we had added two three times. So you can kind of see that pattern. The third row, we had added two twice. The fourth row, we had added two three times. It's always one less. The number of times we've added two is one less than the number that we're looking for. So on the fourth day, we have to do four minus one and add two three times. So a faster way of representing adding two three times is to do two times three, or in this case, two times n minus one. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, there's also the RSG Ready, Set, Go homework support videos on the Canvas student support site.